I'm here with Todd from uh, Sea Legs USA and a uh, super cool company. Has these amphibious boat cars. <laughs> tell us about the, the company, tell us about, uh, about you, how it started. Just give us a little bit of an overview on this because Dick and Brad live on the water. And if you live on the water and you don't have a dock, maybe you can't keep your boat, this it seems like the perfect solution. Well, it is, and that's exactly how the, the, the concept came about. Essentially, uh, homeowners living on the water, uh, the cost and maintenance of putting in, maintaining a dock, uh, the safety involved with loading and unloading people, cargo, that type of thing. To have a boat that basically takes that equation right out of the equation, helps you transition from water to land, you can bring it right up, park it right next to your house, bring the kids, get everybody in, put it back up on its wheels and go drive down and go into the water. Yeah, so the best of all worlds, it seems exactly. like. And so how many of these, um, I mean, is this the only size it comes in? Uh, we have several different boats. They range in size from 18 feet all the way up to 30. Okay, wow. Yeah, you can fit up to eight passengers on the boat. And uh, again, they're just a, they're, they're a joy in the sense of being able to, to, to help you get out on the water more easily and open up the accessibility. Right, so they are more boat than they are car. You know, it's. They, they I was I wasn't sure how to ask you about it. So they are they are definitely more boat than car. But the great thing about these is that they've got the they've got the ability on land to get you really in and out of just about any situation that presents itself. Yeah. Now, what kind of sea conditions can can they take? Uh, depending on size and, and obviously your comfort level as a boater, they are, they are very rugged boats. Uh, the the New Zealanders are very utilitarian. They build things to function and to uh, to be as hard as they are as people as well too. So I think you'll find that you know anything that the the sea is really throwing at you around here that you're you're typically pretty comfortable in. Got it. So now you talk about New Zealand. Does that mean is this where they're manufactured? Is this your partner? Is this the uh was it where it originated? It, exactly. So uh, Sea Legs USA is a subsidiary of uh, Sea Legs, uh, which is based out of New Zealand, <laughs> out of Auckland. Uh, the company's been around since 2005, and we have branched out around the world, uh, sold over a thousand boats in 55 different countries. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so, I mean, this seemed like something that was very futuristic. So you're saying 2005 has been here. So it's been here a little while now. Boats have been around for a long time. They've definitely, there's been some little tweaks and changes to them throughout the years, but it's it's been a great product and it's just really progressing by word of mouth. We get more and more inquiries every single year and more and more people looking to be amphibious and to uh, you know, take their boating to the next level. All right, Todd, that's awesome. People looking to be amphibious, that's beautiful. Now, how about the engine? Can you change, can you have any size engine you want or, like, or does it come standard with an engine? Sure, so each boat uh, has a, a preferred power rating on the back. That's pretty standard for most boat building companies. Uh, you can certainly throttle back from that. We've had people in certain circumstances where they've needed a larger engine on the back for, for certain aspects as well too. So, you know, typically when we are dealing with a client or a prospect, we are looking to find out what their specific needs are because really like a lot of things, everybody is very unique in the application and what they're trying to get out of it. So we really try to kind of build each boat a la carte so that we cater to that individual and their needs. Oh, so can you customize it a little bit is what oh, you're saying? Oh yeah, absolutely. We do all kinds of customization. Now how easy is it to uh, to uh, pilot? Boats are really easy. It's very intuitive, the system. We typically, I've had my son actually drive in and out of the water at uh, nine years old and uh, I think it took me probably about 10 minutes. He, you know, video games and that kind of thing, these kids pick it up so fast that they're, they tend to be the better drivers anyways. So, oh, beautiful. Yeah. So where's your uh, USA location? Your, We're headquartered your home out of Bristol, Rhode Island. Oh, beautiful boating, beautiful yep. boating destination. Absolutely, home of American yachting. Right, right where the uh, Harrisoft Museum is too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that's where you're out of. That's a that's gorgeous boating in there. It is, it's yeah. fantastic. And so um, how, like, how far can you go in this? I mean, would you go, across the country you know across the, you know would you cross the oceans with this or how how far can you go range is dependent on the on the actual platform and the product yeah. but really typically within about 180 nautical miles you you've got that type of range okay and so you guys came from Nantucket today. We came over from Nantucket today. Beautiful mm -hmm. ride across the channel. Yeah. And so what else can you tell me about the boat that um, people would want to know? Usually when people are just inquisitive about, I mean, it's, it's so fascinating to see. I mean, when sure. this thing goes up, it's it's really super futuristic. It just. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I, I don't want to I don't want to diminish it by saying it's a boat like any other boat, but. Uh, typical to uh, to ribs as they're known, rigid inflatable boats. It's a 
marine grade aluminum hull and has hypalon tubes that, uh, that inflate on the sides and help give it an added buoyancy. Um, the boat itself is powered by outboard like most boats uh, traditionally and then there is an inboard uh, uh, air aspirated engine that powers a hydrostatic drive and that's what operates the, uh, the, the hydraulics that raise, lower the wheels and power the boat forward and backwards on land. Yeah, super cool. Now how fast can it go? So on water, most boats top out around 40, 44 miles an hour on the water. Uh, on land, we because it's a, a hydraulic drive, mm -hmm. you sacrifice speed for traction and power, torque. Okay. So pretty much right around seven miles an hour on land is, is pretty much a top end speed. Okay, so on land is about seven. And so can you like pull a t tuber or a water skier? Would you be able to do that in this oh, kind of a boat too? Absolutely. So absolutely. it is like a boat in terms of it's a boat. Without a doubt. We it's, have uh, our clients take a, do a lot of wakeboarding, uh, tubing, as you mentioned, water skiing, all of those kinds of things. Great platform for fishing. Uh, really anything that anybody's enjoying on, on a traditional boat you can do on a sea legs. Well said. I guess we should uh, now actually get in and try it for ourselves. I think that sounds like a great idea. Thank you, Ty. It's awesome. Yeah, thank you.